Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to download Oracle's JDK or Java Development Kit. So what you're going to do is go to a search bar. Could be any search bar, but I'm going to go ahead and use Google in this video. And you're going to type in download JDK. And so we've got the Java Development Kit. And you'll notice that's usually the very first link. So we're going to go, go to download. And we're going to go right here. So download. This will usually take you to the most recent release. Click download. And I'm on Windows. And I want a 64-bit download. So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> got to accept that user agreement. There we are. Accept license. So you're going to find yours. If you're using a Mac, you probably want to select one of these two. Again, Windows, I'm going to click the .exe file and click Save. I'm going to go ahead and wait for it to download and start right back up. OK, it's finished downloading. I'm going to click on the download arrow. I'm using Firefox. If you don't see it there or at the bottom of your screen, maybe over here, then what you can do is go to your Downloads folder. So you open your folder and you go to your downloads and you should probably see it there. So I see JDK 12.02 Windows X64. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that. And I clicked on it and you'll notice that I've got just a little spinning blue bar saying, hey, something's not working. But down at the bottom of my page right here, you'll notice that it's got a little shield and it was blinking. The screen did not pop up on my computer, so you might want to take a look for that. It's asking if we want to allow it to make changes. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And we're going to go through the install process. Click Next. Um, I'm fine with the program installation location, so click Next on that. And if you want to, you can click Next Steps to access the tutorials, the documentation, guides, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We don't really need that right now. We can just click Close. And at this point, we should have Java Development Kit JDK on our computer. So that's it for this step.